Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. Here on Crazy Shit in Real Estate, we love to talk about the things that you discover, find out, learn, experience that were completely unexpected and you're thinking, this is out of left field, but here we are, so what do we do? You've got a million different angles you've covered in real estate, which means you've seen a billion different crazy scenarios. So I'd love to know if somebody says, Willie, what's the, what's the wildest thing you've seen in living through real estate? What's the story you would tell? If you really want to know, I mean, it's, it's kind of gross. Um, it's, it's kind of a gross story. So oh, I uh, try and one up all the other episodes because if that's where we're going, I'm all in. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, here at Boston's an old city, right? And most of our buildings are, you know, 100 years old. Everything was built in 1910, 1920. So you're used to seeing old buildings. And we have, I would say there's a regular mice problem or a mouse problem in Boston. And, you know, tiny little, tiny little mice field mice get into your house, especially when it gets cold, winter time comes around. When I was growing up, I never roaches or I didn't even know they exist anymore. <laughs> so we bought this piece of property and it was to say it was an infestation would be not doing it just. I mean, when you walked in, there was it was wallpaper. It was just everything all over the place. I mean, I literally went home and showered took off my clothes at the door and, and, you know, and so this property was going on the market and no one would buy it. They were initially asking about 350,000 for it. It was so bad that people couldn't even walk in. You would get in the door and you would just see like the wall move and it was just roaches just everywhere. It was just, so they were like sticking to the wall. Like they, they walked up there and hung out. So when you see it and like, if you've ever seen like, and, and this is just my reference for the movies, when you see roaches in the movies, they're, you know, they, you know, you, somebody opens up the refrigerator or the refrigerator and they scatter across the, the floor. They're using, these roaches were not running from anyone. They were, they were, this was their territory. They lived there. It was just, it was one of the worst situations I've ever seen, but long story short, I bought the house. And <laughs> I, I bought the house and they initially were asking for 300,000 and we ended up, no one would take this thing. Everybody that went in there, they were arguing. They were like, no, we're not taking your offer. Blah, blah. We ended up buying the house for $200,000, $100,000 less than what they were asking for. I can tell you that two families of that size in this, in, in Boston today, typically go for somewhere around 600,000. Um, so it was a significant discount. And we've basically been in there and just burned the place down. I mean, it was it was so bad. <laughs> we essentially went in and just took the foundation, took everything down to the studs. We spent about three hundred thousand dollars fixing it up. I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. We're only going to release this on this podcast. We sprayed. We did everything else. We had about six different treatments that came in while the house was existing, before the demo came in, after the demo came in, and then so we kept it as a rental property and. Within two weeks of us being there, the oh. tenant called us up <laughs> and, said, <laughs> and said we had spotted a roach. We immediately went out and put the house on the market and said we're not going to oh, deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> The only thing that could survive nuclear war is roaches. I, that's that's exactly, and I never believed. I mean, we had all types of con. We went with two different companies. For a total of six different treatments, they each came in three different times in various phases of the project. We had put everything back in there. I mean, we when we took when I say gutted, we went we took it down to the absolute studs. There was nothing but a foundation and the exterior so where walls. Were they, up. Really? Where were they I, 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 that, And that's what blows my mind. I, it was almost like they were burrowed into the studs at some point. I, I I couldn't even tell you. It was like I mean, if you look, it was just a complete four thousand square foot shell sitting there and i'm like there's no way that they survived this and they absolutely did and they came back i'm not sure of the status today but i can tell you that we made a healthy profit on it like i said we bought it for 200 put about 300 000 into the thing 
after realtor fees and everything else, I think we walked away with 200 grand, but I'm, I'm just itching just even talking to you about. I'm just how... thinking I'm never going near studs again, because if I, <laughs> I did, it was uh, absolutely incredible to me. And I, like I said, it was something that I'll never forget. And when, when I, when I go into houses now and uh, you know, and people are like, well, I just want to caution you. I, you know, I'm please guy. I'm <laughs> Please, (laughs) please. This is absolutely nothing. I mean, so. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.